Today's words of wisdom: The loving nature of birds will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Alexis or Vietnamese, Chinese, Dutch, English, French, German, Hebrew, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Thai, Turkish, and Urdu. More languages are available online. For your special language, please visit www.suprememastertv.com/subtitles. An internationally renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, poet, and artist, Supreme Master Ching Hai has also been an advocate for peace and the environment, as well as an animal lover. Caring deeply for the planet and all its inhabitants, Supreme Master Ching Hai has been urgently raising awareness on the threats of climate change, with a steadfast determination that planetary destruction must be stopped before it is too late. Tirelessly accepting numerous invitations to conferences, media interviews, and other events, she has helped to clarify and prioritize the vegan solution for humankind, grounded in both extensive scientific research as well as profound inner spiritual knowledge. Supreme Master Ching Hai sends a message of encouragement for government leaders and citizens throughout the world, which is to act nobly for the survival and happiness of all beings now and to come. In late 2010, at the invitation of Mexico's Secretariat of Environment and Natural Resources, Supreme Master Ching Hai arrived in Cancun, Mexico, to offer her support through prayers as well as her gentle presence for the United Nations Climate Change Conference or COP16 and its crucial mission of forging an international treaty to curb global warming and protect the world's citizens. During the course of the climate change summit, some of the attending dignitaries who had the chance to speak with Supreme Master Ching Hai included the President of Mexico, His Excellency Felipe Calderón, Moldovan Minister of Environment and Natural Resources Jorge Salaru, Togo's natural focal point to the UNFCCC Ambassador Komi Tomieba, Head of the Climate Change Department at the Egyptian Environmental Affairs Agency Dr. Azet Louis Hanala Ajibi. Ugandan Environment Minister Her Excellency Jessica Erio, and Peru's Environment Minister Dr. Antonio Jose Brack Egg. Furthermore, while in Cancun, Supreme Master Ching Hai granted a number of interviews to print, radio, and television representatives of the Mexican media. She was also invited as the guest of honor for the Greenest Heroes Gala, co-hosted by the Mayor of Cancun, the Honorable Jaime Hernandez Zaragoza, and the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association. The charity campaign by Cancun's Lady Mayoress and President of the Social Welfare Agency for the city's Benito Juarez Borough, Patty Menezes de Hernandez, as well as a press conference with members of the media. Following Supreme Master Ching Hai's example of true love in action, our association members from over 10 countries arrived in Cancun to distribute leaflets and promote the organic vegan diet as the single most effective solution to climate change. Despite her busy schedule, Supreme Master Ching Hai often met with our association members to answer questions and shared her wisdom. We now invite you to join us for Supreme Master Ching Hai's insightful discussion with our association members, entitled "The Loving Nature of Birds," given in Cancun, Mexico. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org. Or contact any of our centers near you. And then you do like this, and it check out down. Yeah, take some you know, as much as you want. Go, go down like that. You do like this, yeah. Yeah, you look how it is. Thank you. Just a company. There's some soup here. Yeah, just. Put it 
So pilote. So pilote? <laughs> yeah. Oh, big, you know? Big. Very no, very big. big. They do circulate. Yeah? yeah? I don't know that. Yeah. They just go straight to my balcony, sit next to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like arm plant like this. And they're not afraid of me at all. Yeah. I was thinking, wow, I never seen such a bird in my life, you know? Wow. That is typical in Mexico, right? Yes, yes. Oh my God, thank God we still have them. North Mexico and South Mexico is yeah? very typical. Mm. Yes. I don't know why, it just comes straight to me like, you know, I'm sitting there, I was reading a document, you know, it was movements and not just, not movement. I have a big hat on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was so curious, I was thinking, my God, what kind of bird is that? Wow, so curious. And I say, you want some bread? You know, he didn't say nothing much. <laughs> and I said, can try. And then, so I came in when I stand up, you know, he a little scared. And so he went a few meters away instead. And then when I come out, I spread the bread over there. And I go back, sit in the, in the chair. He came back, <laughs> same position, and staring in my nose like that. <laughs> He must think you're a beautiful bird. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking he's a rare bird. <laughs> but for a Chinese bird, for him, I'm rare. <laughs> so he was thinking, oh, he probably uh, make some video tape for, for his television. <laughs> I am photographing him and he's a video tape in here <laughs> for his six o'clock news. <laughs> yeah. Bird television, huh? <laughs> Yeah, he really was not afraid at all. Yeah, so beautiful. How come they're not afraid? Because people friendly to him in Mexico or they are just very friendly as birds? Oh, normally they don't get close to people. Are you kidding? Yeah. Is it right here, like oh. the, like here distance? Wow. You know the balcony mm -hmm. is outside here is very, mm -hmm. uh, very narrow. About like mm -hmm. one meter, huh? Yeah. And I sit on my chair and he's just on the balcony there. Right in front of me. He deliberately go there. Yeah. Because he could park elsewhere, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he could park in a swimming pool nearby or on top of me even. Yeah. You want I'll, a closer look at you. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, probably blonde, you know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he wants to sing mariachi. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mari sing mariachi or something. Oh, I want to sing. Oh my God, he's so beautiful. I was so grateful that he, 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 he showed me such a... Trust, you know? Yeah. And I was thinking maybe because uh, Mexican birds are like that. Because all the birds, they also come eat almost from my hand. Wow. I never seen them before. Yeah. You know, these birds, every mm. day I feed. Wow. Mm. If they're near, they just come down right away and eat <laughs> in front of me. Like an open restaurant. You know? <laughs> <laughs> South Mexico, there are a lot of very bright colored birds. Oh, yeah, yes. Birds, a yes. lot of them here yeah. because they protect the environment around here in yeah. Cancun. You see if you can hear them. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. So this big bird, oh, he scared me, you know, when he goes straight in, I was thinking, <laughs> he just fly from far, and when he go near, he just land there quietly. I was thinking maybe he just fly straight on my shoulder. <laughs> it seems like that. But no, he land on the balcony and just look at me. Mm. I say, I love you so much. My, you're so beautiful. You're, he's really beautiful. It's really a good day today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the birds visit two, you know, two. two. One park nearby and one park is in front of me. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he videotaped me and, and aired it on his <laughs> Birdie television, you know, bird TV. <laughs> I think I never seen it before, a Chinese blonde. <laughs> he brought it introduced in his TV. Beloved audience, you know, <laughs> Chinese I've seen a lot, but this one, Chinese, I tell you I've never seen it in my life. Have a look at her. <laughs> you, you never learn enough, you know. <laughs> you, you thought you've seen it all, but you haven't. <laughs> yeah, so cute. <laughs> wow, that's really made my day with the bird, you know. I really love that bird. The neck is a wrinkle, you know, rough, like turkey. Yeah, yeah the head also, all bald, bald. But the whole body is full of hair. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he likes my hat. <laughs> 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 Big hat. <laughs>
He managed to find you. <laughs> and he said, Oh, they just want to capture you fully so he can go back to his broadcast in the whole TV. Nice. Nice. Live from Cancun. Straight from COP16. <laughs> Freshly emerged from Moon Palace. <laughs> and you see, even when we came out, the whole group like that, at least three, four people with camera, and he still did not fly away. And we saw tiptoe and all that, you know, he couldn't tell us. <laughs> I bought some good news, but I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> Maybe later. Mm -hmm. Special bird. You know, not all birds are normal birds, no? Mm -hmm. Some birds are king and queen and princess. Oh, wow. They have bad wife. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like Laguna, she's queen. Oh. <laughs> and like uh, Libra, he's like general rank, you know? <laughs> wow. But because they don't have flocks or they don't do anything. But she is still the queen. One time I was in Spain, and I sit with her next to the, the, the sea, you know, I have a cliff and on that house, and I look straight down to the sea. And you can spit on the water, that's what they call it. Mm -hmm. And I thought she wouldn't fly away from me, so I just let her stand next to uh, my chair, you know, on the chair, behind her, on the armchair. Suddenly, she just fly away. Oh, that was scary. And all that she goes, fly, you know, surrounding her and behind her, not in front. Then as she fly to the, the front mountain nearby and sit there and lecturing. <laughs> they all stand around listening to her. When I found her, I thought, what are you doing? <laughs> She was having a grand time. <laughs> she was having a great time, and I was having a great time when I take her back. <laughs> My God. There's a mountain with uh, less water, and she stands on a rock, lecturing to all surrounding seagulls. <laughs> like, we have to go green to save the planet. <laughs> My master said that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can't believe it. It's so good. You want some more fruit? Normally I don't even have a tender. It's just because this time you already arranged and I need a lot of stuff, <laughs> you know, so they have to bring it. I have to have a tender to take care, you know? Otherwise I travel alone. I eat taquitos every day, only. Mm -hmm. Taquito morning, lunch, dinner, or eat, eat, or one. No bread, bread, and apple. <laughs> Maggie, I said. Yeah, I don't want to bother, you know, I don't want to be dependent on all these kind of things. You eat, you want, if not, you just take it with you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Want to try some Maggie and stuff? Because I know we had it, but we never had a chance to eat. Okay, so you eat. If not, you just take some. Or eat, and then we have some more for you to take. Okay? More tea? Coffee? Eat it, and we have more for you to take home. I'll share it. At the end, they came to an agreement because mm -hmm. I was following the news, and they didn't it, was, want. it was stalemate. Yeah, yeah. It didn't go anywhere. Yeah, it didn't go anywhere. And then, uh, you were there? And yeah, the I go second with everybody, huh? yeah. the Japanese and the Americans, I told them. Yeah, they feel soft and something. Yeah. Because they walked out already, American walked out, Chinese don't want, Japanese don't want. So it was very, very, uh, very good. At the end, everybody likes it, relief, a clap hand the whole night through. <laughs> the chairman or anybody has hardly a chance to talk because they're all clapping, clapping all the time. <laughs> we know already, we just laugh. <laughs> uh, he was so cute. Uh, okay, at least some accord, you know? Yeah.
peaceful at the end. Now at least I feel I must go. <laughs> it's okay. Tired, huh? Mm. Are you tired, all of you? Okay, huh? Tired, but happy now, huh? The end. Happy, happy. Yeah. <laughs> last time, last last day, you know. I think everybody happy also. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't feel they have something, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they have just one, one or two title only, one or two subject only, not the whole um, accord. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So probably they can talk it out. They work hard, and truly work hard. I also feel very. Sorry for them. If they don't come out with anything, it's been more terrible. Everybody work very hard, you know, running from one room to another, one meeting room to another, which is many <laughs> kilometers away, you know, no car, just walking. But I don't know. I feel it's already better than nothing, yes. Just that we don't have much time and they still want to. But there's so many countries what to do. But at least they have something, huh? To come out with. Yeah. Many things in there are good. Yeah. Ah, okay. But maybe they will agree to that. You know, organic vegan. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Maybe when they they work more on these agreements, you know? Because it's like a framework. It's almost not like uh, complete yet, you know? Okay, they agree on something like the title of it, but then I think they have to work more. Like if they stop deforestation and all that, then maybe they have to think why deforestation, and they go into the subtly into the animal section, because most deforestation is for animals. So if they try to stop deforestation, meaning uh huh, <laughs> something like that. Vegetarianism in religion. The Baha'i Faith, regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that, in the beginning of creation, God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings of Some Aspects of Health and Healing Buddhism, all meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra Also, after the birth of the baby, Care must be exercised not to kill any animal in order to feed the mother with meaty delicacies and not to assemble many relatives to drink liquor or to eat meat, because at the difficult time of birth there are innumerable evil demons, monsters and goblins who want to consume the smelly blood. By ignorantly and adversely resorting to the killing of animals for consumption, they bring down curses upon themselves which are detrimental to both the mother and the baby. Kasitigarbha Sutra Be careful during the days immediately after someone's death, not killing or destroying, or creating evil karma by worshipping or offering sacrifice to demons and deities, because such killing and slaughtering committed, or such worship performed, or such sacrifice offered, would not have even an iota of force to benefit the dead, but would entwine even more sinful karma into previous karma, making it even deeper and more serious. Thus, delay his rebirth to a good state. Karma means retribution. Kasiti Garba Sutra. Gaudai. The most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints. Christianity. Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible. Confucianism. All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius. Essenes. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood. And if ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve Hinduism Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore, you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adelila 
He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu Islam Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith Jainism a true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been specially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Katanga Judaism And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible Blood meaning flesh Sikhism those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh, and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts, and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib Taoism Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field. Tract of the Quiet Way Tibetan Buddhism the offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism Those plants I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow. Avesta Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good for health and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great compassionate loving self-nature and then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically and they will understand more than they ever did and they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. I love these birds. Wow. Beautiful birds. The two birds, so sweet. Not afraid of me at all, like he knows me. Like one of my birds at home, only. It's such an overwhelming familiarity, you know? Intimacy. I almost cry. So trusting. So beautiful. Only after we left, then they go on the roof. When we come out and the camera clicking, they go, and we will take their move. See? Very near already. I'm afraid we go too near, but but maybe even if we go near, they also don't move. Because they're so, so lovely. He just come right straight to me on purpose, you know, like that. Wow. So beautiful. I love. He said, my love. Just love. <laughs> 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 I want to touch his bald head. <laughs> no hair. <laughs> no hair from here to here, you know. Funny, the whole body is full of hair, black, and uh, here nothing. <laughs> All balls, you know. So cute. Even even turkey, they have something on their head. You know? There's nothing, just a bald. <laughs> wrinkle, you know, a bald is so cute. <laughs> so cute, so cute. Mm. My first time I see him come here, I bring good news. Bring good news. Thank you so much. We have hope in the, like the audience uh, that can make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good news. Maybe he's the king of these well. big birds. <laughs> 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 it's really good news. That's like right. <laughs> good news. Yes. I don't care what he brings. I love him so much. Oh, such an intimacy, such a trust. Mm -hmm. You know, make me feel so good, so good, so loved. Oh my God, I feel so honored. You know. <laughs> so honor, so privilege that it just comes straight to me like that, as if one to step on my hand even, almost like that. Yeah. I I feel like I could come and say, hey, up and then he'll come. <laughs> that, you know. But I did. <laughs> I was so scared. <laughs> All these sharp uh, nails, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, they love so much. Oh my. So intimate, yeah? Mm. Two times, not just one time. And like maybe the first time, maybe he mistakenly think I'm just sitting there, you know, <laughs> I like a tree or something. <laughs> but I move and I 
come back and I sit down and he come back. See? It's the same. And then you guys come and then broke our spell. <laughs> I was sitting there and loving him. And then the journalist come. <laughs> Concurrence. <laughs> the competition. <laughs> he bring news, I also get the news. <laughs> All the journalists. <laughs> What's the name again? Uh, Sopilote. 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 So wow. big, big, majestic, you know, and powerful. Mm. He feel powerful. But he come so sweet like a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> he look in the eyes, so sweet, so sweet, full of love. My God, melts my heart, you know. I could just sit there forever, forever, forever. Yeah. But it's good that you guys came and also share, you know, the joy. <laughs> but this, it was so, you know, magical. The two of us sitting there, <laughs> looking into each other's eyes. <laughs> no words spoken. And he was so loving, love. Oh my God. If all human was so loving like that, mm-hmm. we would have peace. Mm-hmm. I don't know until when it will. But you see better already, yeah? like Israel want to cooperate with Palestine for if the, the fire comes to your country, we have each other now, the two ministers. You know, Netanyahu and uh, the president talk together because of the fire in Israel. It was so big, Palestine helped and then, you see, it's a bad thing, but it's a good news. So you many take some disaster like that to bring the two countries together. And I was so happy to see that news. Yeah? The two took to get cooperate. <laughs> and to help each other. In the future. <laughs> oh my God. That is really something I like so much. <laughs> and uh, um, Prime Minister Netanyahu also apologized to Turkey already mm-hmm. about the life lost last time. He said sorry already. It was very good, huh? Mm-hmm. That's a man, the relationship. No. Wow, I can't believe it. It's so good. It's so good. So good. Yeah? Your hard work is paying off. It's getting there. Mm-hmm. My hard work. My spiritual account is going, going. Yes. But I'm happy to give. I'm just happy, very happy. I ask all the time, that, can I give more? And when heaven say no, I have to stop. I would give more and more all the time. Whenever I have, I give. But there's only limits, you know? Yes. Just like you cannot give your child too much money at the same time to go to school or to do something, you know? Just enough, and then you give more later if you need, if they need. Yes. Originally, I even asked if, if I could die to help everything in the world. And I say, not useful. It's better I live. Yeah. So I have to protect my life. When I live, I help more than when I die. Mm-hmm. I thought if I die, that would be the ultimate sacrifice to help the world. But they say no, no, that is not. That's uh, not useful too much. You know, a little bit, but not too. Much. We cannot live without you, Master. If we are we cannot survive. <laughs> no. <laughs> You'll be okay. It's just that, uh, you know, for the world, huh? Yeah. It's better. You see, to lose your life is not much compared to losing your spiritual point, yeah? So this time they want more than just a physical life. See what I mean? Yeah. More than just physical life, material life.
gracious viewers, we appreciate your loving company for today's episode of Words of Wisdom. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for a journey through aesthetic realms. Coming up next after noteworthy news, we pray for heaven's grace to bless and immerse our planet in a loving atmosphere of peace and joyfulness. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW.